What's up everybody? My name is Ben Briggs and I am the co-owner of Firefly. And we have products on Amazon right now. 30% off Firefly Life. And you can go get yours today. Um, just go on to our Instagram, Firefly Fitness. And uh, yeah, um, about to hit a deload week workout today. Um, have some high bar squats, uh, dumbbell split squats, rows, and some OHP. So not that high intensity. So it should be a good workout. Um, I'm in my apartment right now. AC is broken. So landlord. So to come by sometime tomorrow to go fix it. So, should be a good day. Currently walking to the gym. Uh, ate a quick lunch. It is currently 12.50 p.m. It's absolutely gorgeous out. I need to get outside more, get a tan, because I am pasty. So, heading on over to Bayer. I currently go to school at Iowa State University. I have one more semester left studying aerospace engineering, so apparently this summer, doing some work, working at a bar, um, you know, currently work at the gym, doing Firefly, and possibly also maybe getting a lab assistant position. So we'll see how that goes. Yeah, it's absolutely gorgeous out. I'm gonna get into buyer pretty soon, so. It's gonna be hot in there as well. See you in there. What's up everybody? Ben Briggs here, and we are starting to kick off our very first lifting vlog for our YouTube channel called Firefly. And I'm very excited to be starting this. And I'm gonna take you through my deload workout today. And yeah, I'm just gonna go over what do I do when I'm on a rest week? What do I do during it? And I'll show you some exercises with the core sliders that you can implement in your own workouts. So let's let's get started. Let's get into this. So for my warm ups, I like to go on the bike, warm up my knees, get my quads nice and uh, pumped up, get them ready for squats because I have a little bit of knee pain and going on the bike about five to ten minutes before really helps out um, really helps deal with the pain before the squats and I also like to get on the hip circle uh, do some dynamic movements with that do some monster walks uh, some lateral steps and then I like to use the barbell and do some dynamic movements there as well and like do some uh, rows some good mornings uh, trying to get my obliques fired up as well so that's why I like to do with the barbell and the hip circle is a product um, from Mark Bell you can go and check it out on slingshot I know I got I bought it through the ISU weight clubs discount code because I'm a member there and I'm still going and I'm still a student at Iowa State University I'm 23 years old studying aerospace engineering and I have one semester left, so very excited, very excited to be done with school, and very excited to see what the future has in store for me after I graduate. So it'll be on to adulthood from there on. And uh, my warm-ups, I really like to treat each rep in each set as if it was a maximal attempt, um, meaning I like to get the same tightness, keep the same cues, keep the same routine every time I step up to the rack. And when I get under the bar, I like to keep my same movements, I like to step in the same way, take deep breaths, stay tight, engage my core, engage my legs. So that's what I like to do for each set. So for today, I am doing some high bar squats for my deload workout. And a deload workout means that I am cutting the volume and I'm cutting the intensity in half uh, to give my body re a rest and going into my next uh, going to my next week of training. So here I'm doing about 225 for 10 reps, getting nice and warmed up. I don't like to go I don't like to do any reps above that day. 
um, reason being uh, I like to get my body nice and primed for the reps that I'm about to do. So I don't like to overexert myself. I like to keep enough energy, but still try to get enough, um, still try to get my body warmed. So here I'm doing 265 pounds. I jumped from 225 to 265. Uh, reason being, I just think uh, 225 is pretty light. I didn't want to do 255, so 265 felt like a reasonable weight to hit at a 7 RPE today. So I think that was a good weight that was chosen for me. And next, I jumped up to 285 for 10 reps, and I believe um, I hit about a 9 RP on this one. So for those that don't know what RP is, RP is an acronym for Rate of Perceived Exertion, if you will. And um, what that means, for example, let's say I'm hitting a triple at 8 RPE. So after my third rep, I still have about two reps left in the tank before failure. So I don't go to failure unless I hit a 10 RPE. So 10 RPE is like, that is one rep. You can't do any more. If you do, you will fail and you'll bottom out. And that, that's pretty much it. And let's say you hit a 9 RPE you hit a t like a real grinding rep after that. So you hit a 9 RP at a single. Let's say you go for another rep, that's going to be a 10 RP. You're done. You're, you're not going to make the next rep. And then 7 is about 3 reps in the tank. 6 is uh, basically you're leaving 4 reps in the tank, but you're not really, you're pretty much keeping the speed exactly the same. And pretty much that goes, um, that's the same thing with 7 RP. So here I'm hitting tempo squats. I'm supposed to do five second descent, three second pause, and then explode on the way up. I don't necessarily think I hit those numbers today. Um, I think I descended too fast, and I think my pauses were definitely too fast. So definitely missed protocol on that one, and I'll be sure to be more disciplined going into the next week. Um, and that's it. That's it for that, and um, after I hit these tempo squats, I go on to accessories. What I do is I hit um, max work in 20 minutes. So I have three exercises, and they're all about 10 reps, and I'm supposed to choose a weight for each, and I'm supposed to do as many sets as possible in 20 minutes. Um, it's very difficult. It kind of feels as if I'm doing a CrossFit workout. Um, so yeah, I mean, it it's good to get the blood mo moving, very good for a sweat. Uh, so overall, it's a good workout. I really, I, I personally really like doing 20 minutes of work because it's fast paced. Really feel like I'm getting a lot accomplished. So a little rest. Um, and so yeah, I'd also like to talk a little bit about the company Firefly. We are a fitness company that was founded by Francis Kelly, and he came up with the idea, and he later brought me on and see if I wanted to take part of it, and I was more than ready to do so. He was already getting the Amazon stuff figured out with the course sliders, and took me on and see if I wanted to help with all of it, and what I'm doing is running a bit of the social media, helping with Helping a little bit with Amazon, Francis has more of that taken care of, but I'm doing a lot of the outside stuff. I've tried to get some sales going on with Iowa State, uh, try to get something going on with Ames Rack and Fitness, but they weren't interested, which is totally fine. And um, I'll provide some course sliders over to AI Supplements. Go check them out. Go check out AI Supplements. They have some awesome smoothies. They have some awesome supplements, and they give you some give you them for some awesome deals because they understand that college students don't have a lot of money and are actually quite cheap so they make it very very affordable to each person going in there and that will conclude the lifting portion of the workout and you will see Lucas Brady here we like to call him the horse of the way club good friend of mine so shout out to Lucas Brady Biscuit underscore 800 and I'll take you to the course sliders 
All right, so I finished the lifting portion of the workout. Um, I did some split squats, dumbbell OHP, and some rows. And now I'm gonna do some B ups, knee tucks, and some chest or push up variations with the core sliders. Get the chest activated, get some core activated, and then we finish up that up. Walk home, eat some food, finish the rest of this video, and then see what else. All right, so now onto the core sliders. So I'm gonna do some V ups and I'm gonna do some uh, push up variations. And you see in this part of the V up, I am very, very loose. This is not what you wanna do. And then you can see I kinda tighten up a little bit afterwards. You really wanna keep your core rigid. Um, that is the main focus. When you're doing these, you wanna keep your core tight. I am very, very loose in these, so I'm not showing good practice with my product whatsoever, so. And I definitely fix that on the next set because I look at the videotape and I'm like, whoops, I definitely need to be tighter. So, as you can see, come down. Really try to focus on being tight. Really focus on keeping my glutes in. There we go. That's what you want. You want to keep your spine and your back alignment in about the same position. And you want to keep driving your feet into the core sliders and keeping that nice and tight. I honestly think these are so brutal. These Working out with the core sliders are very, very difficult. And don't knock it till you try it. I know a lot of people think they're kind of funny looking, thinking, wow, I mean, it's not much. They're just two little sliding discs, but they definitely give you a good burn. <laughs> yeah, I slip up a little bit there. And next, I'm going to do my push-up variation. I go single assisted flies, and then I go into kind of like an ab roller deal where I do it's single arm assisted and these are so tough but they give you you know they give you some nice stability I try to keep my core as tight as possible and i try to keep it nice and smooth when i'm going back and forth with the sliders and that will conclude the commentary for today so i hope you all enjoyed it take care now bye bye What's up, everybody? Um, just got done working out. I uh, got done eating a bit ago. Right now, I'm just working on some videos. This one in particular. Um, so go and check it out. It's going to be your first one. Um, go check out our course sliders on Amazon. Go look us up on Instagram. So have a good one. <laughs>